Convection ovens actually can't make an inflatable turkey really look like that, but they can do a lot of things, and most of us have some misunderstandings on how to use them, so we don't. So today I'm with Tony from Standard TV and Appliance, and he's going to share some of the tips on using your convection oven. Yeah, it really gets down to how to simplify the holiday, and that's what a good oven does. Uh, as you said, though, a lot of people have ovens that they've had that are wonderful, but they never really learn how to use them. Right, they don't know how to or they're no. using them wrong. So what right. are some of the rules on using them? Well, convection's really a pretty simple idea. All it really is is forced hot air. And what the forced hot air does, not so well with inflatable turkeys, but real meat, <laughs> is it sears the outside of the food and makes it very juicy. Okay. It also is a more efficient way of cooking, so it takes less time. Uh, you're looking at about a third less time on meat products about the same time on cookies and things. But here's the key thing with cookies, uh, you could do three racks of them at the same time and they'll all come out real evenly. So you don't have to rotate the racks? As Not you're at all. Okay. So you can do a bulk of food, get it done really quick, which I do in my family a okay. lot. It's, it's eating and moving on with life. That's good. Very, very quickly. And the food quality is excellent. So the quality of the food is better. So now there are ovens that make it even easier. The convection oven is, is fairly easy to use, but this one takes it to uh, new heights on how to be easy. A whole new level. It really does. It really does. In fact, I'm going to let you cook, not inflatable turkey, but I'll, we'll let you go ahead and hit oven here. I'll hit oven. Okay. And now watch what this oven does. It takes it to, real, to make it really easy. Hit culinary center. All right. And say this, this holiday we want to cook a prime rib, so we'll let you hit prime rib there. Okay, that's a pretty expensive piece of meat. Yeah, you know, if you go to the store right now, you can spend probably $125 on a really nice cut of meat, which you don't want to mess up. Meatloaf, not so important. Okay. And then all you do next. is hit okay. next. Got to be smarter than the panel. Yep. All right. And notice what it's doing here. It's telling you what this oven means by medium. Now, say we don't want that medium. I, we like, go, I like medium rare. Ah, me too. I really do, actually. See how it changed? It actually shows you what that shows you what's going to look do. like too. So you know, for we we who are visual, this is an easy way to to, to know what your oven's going to do. Then all you do is hit next. Okay. And this actually shows you what pan to use. Now convection is different because convection is searing the outside of the food. You don't want to use a real tall pan because if you do that, it inhibits the oven from doing its work. Okay. So this is showing you the right kind of pan to use—a real shallow pan. Uh, and then you just hit next again. All right. Okay, now what do we do next? Well, this oven is equipped with a probe. The probe actually cooks it to the right doneness to right. what you want. The probe, though, a lot of people use them wrongly. Now, the problem with the probe is people think, well, I'll stick it all the way through the food. Well, all the way through the food is not going to get the right temperature. So this is showing you and telling you, actually, put the probe in the center cut of the meat. Very simple. It even shows you what rack to use. And it presets the temperature. It's done. So in fact, hit start. Watch it even gives you this nice little sound. It, yep. Close it up. The probe's in there. Walk away, and that's it. You no come out with a great prim rib. And away you go. If I didn't have an oven like this that's presetting my temperature, what is the temperature difference when I'm using convection? You're you're, you're lowering the temperature 25 degrees. So it's a, it's a pretty much a, an ongoing thing. All recipes 25 degrees, but it will vary. Uh, the time based on the kind of food. On the type of food. Right. So your meat items are a little bit different. You're taking about a third of the time off. Okay. Your baked items, conversely, your cookies, things like that, are about the same time. Okay. And speaking of cookies, when you want them really fast, kids are hungry. Yeah. I don't have to wait with this oven you don't. for it to preheat. You don't. And, and f now what's fun with this oven, too, is you can do a non-preheat cook. So say you want to do the cookies exactly like you said. It has a no preheat one rack. And what that will do is without any preheating, you hit the temperature, hit the time, and you walk away. So you're saving 9 to 11 minutes there immediately. Make the kids happy a Make lot. Make the kids happy. A lot quicker. Get the Costco lasagna done, and you're on with dinner. And the holidays life. are a lot easier. All right. Yep. Hey, well, thanks for uh, sharing this with us. And if you you're have any welcome. questions, they'd be happy to help you uh, with your holiday cooking, too. Thanks, yeah. Tony. Yeah, glad to help.